Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to another episode of Slice of Shonen. I am your host, The Cloudy Crow, and today we'll be reacting to Delicious in Dungeon, episode 4 and probably 5. Since this episode 4 will probably be going up late, I'm most likely just going to mash it together with episode 5, so you guys will be getting a double upload of 4 and 5 in this video right here. But again, like I said, since we're running late on this episode, we're just going to jump right into this. So if you guys are excited for the episode, make sure to leave a like. While you're down there, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification so you know whenever I drop a brand new reaction. And lastly, don't forget that over on the Patreon, there are a bunch of bonuses. If you head on over and join the $2 tier, then you get access to all of my uncut reactions, including this series right here. But with that out of the way, let's get into this episode. Alright, so I think we saw this little map here, I think either last episode or the episode before. No? Oh man, don't tell me we're gonna be making a skeleton bone broth in this episode. Oh, okay. Yeah, his hearing is insane. He must have a ton of experience down here. I mean, we do know when he was a kid, he was delving into these dungeons. Yeah, I hope you're not planning to cook it. Wait, if she knows how to make them, why hasn't she made them by now? Maybe she can't make, like, really powerful ones. Oh snap! So this is his headquarters. Dang, he looks like he has gardening supplies. But? Oh no. Don't tell me. He's thinking what I think he's thinking. Oh, high in nutrition, here we go. Oh, smart! Okay, that's not a bad idea. Holy crap, he can make like an underground garden. Have a golem that can protect you and grow carrots. There you go. Easy, so you don't even have to worry about maintaining the plants. Oh man. Here it is! Dang! I thought it was just gonna be one! Alright, let's go. <laughs> Get right to digging! Oh, what was that? That must have been like their core. Easy peasy. Dang, they're looking good too. He was not lying. Okay. Hold on. What are they gonna cook here? Because they have a lot of vegetables, a lot of supplies to work with. Oh no, and how did you make that? Ew, you can't just splash that everywhere. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, he's got a good point. He's just taking them apart, planting some vegetables, and then putting the core back in. That's cool. Why is this so wholesome, man? This is just like a gardening simulator. Nothing weird, nothing creepy going on. Magic probably makes it taste funny or something. Mmm. Mmm. 
Hold on. He's kind of spitting. Chicken noodle soup. Fresh vegetable lunch from the golem garden. Okay. It looks pretty good, actually. Like normal, nothing weird. Got some regular carrots. I mean, you do have the basilisk meat, but it's basically just chicken. I was I thought they were gonna say the core was the last one percent. Oh he's got that itis. Okay, yeah, so it makes sense. Oh they have a map of all the toilets. That's funny. I wonder if there's ever like bathroom lines. <laughs> I know the barbarians be blowing up the toilets. Oh, the fertilizer. Oh no, is that what that funny taste was? <laughs> no, I doubt it. Because I mean, even normal fertilizer uses like cow poop, doesn't it? And we can't taste it, at least not that we know. Oh my god, so he's the janitor. He's the dungeon janitor. The zombies that fall in the toilets. Okay, that last point is a fair point. Dang, so he's like the guardian of the golem. This fourth floor is his territory. He's pretty dang cool. I'm glad he's on our side. Okay, there we go. Yeah, this is like her first semblance of regular food and who knows how long. Oh man. I don't trust this dude. Oh, okay, okay. He's just like the guard. I thought he would have been like a crazy Earl from Borderlands. Just this crazy man. <laughs> Sits behind that door all day. Wait, <laughs> it's like, what the heck? Bring coins. Okay, okay. So he's not willing to barter. He just wants to... Uh, he wants people that are willing to purchase things. Oh no, you can't disrespect the carrots. What was that sound? Oh my! Oh no. Oh my god, I thought that was one of us for a second. Oh no. He's going for the vegetables? Oh my god. Oh snap! What the heck? They're cool with Senshi! <laughs> like I said, I'm so glad Senshi's on our side. Oh. Yeah, that's our main target right there. Dragon burger, dragon steak. Here we come. I mean, I get the fact that they're desperate. And it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world down here in these dungeons. Okay, there you go. Okay, 
Oh no, we're about to get to cooking again. Bread? <laughs> hey, let him cook! Let him cook! That's like the theme of this series, let him cook. <laughs> they gave it to him. It's time. Well, look, this kid's about to have the meal of his life. Oh, maybe the elves are the one that forced them underground. And humans. Wait, is... Is Chilchuk even human? I thought Chilchuk was a halfling. <laughs> He's giving a cooking lesson while the other guy's giving a history lesson. Oh. Now talk to him, Marcel. <laughs> Look, now they're both cooking angrily. Wait, where'd the kid go? Hold on. She's got a point. <laughs> I love how he always diffuses the situation. And of course he had to stop the kid from sticking his hand in. And... Voila! Oh my god! That bread looks fire. It looks almost like melon bread. Man, you said share! What do you mean it's ours now? There you go. That kid's got a good head on his shoulders. Mm -hmm. And look. Oh man, Marcel's awesome, dude. She might be my favorite character, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, we yeah, have can't go back on it now. There it is. Oh my god, that looks amazing. Nice healthy balanced meal right there. You know it's bomb. It always is, man. It's always bomb. I have a feeling his sister wasn't actually Eden. The story's kind of building up that way. Where it seems like the whole reason why he's going down here is because the dragon ate her. But he's gonna find out something crazy once he actually bumps into the dragon. Hey, respect! Look, that kid's loving the bread. There's no idea. <laughs> that was so cool, man! I love this series so much. Mm-hmm. That was so sick, man. I love this series. It's such a good, like, I guess it's such a good break from all of the, like, classic shonen and just crazy over-the-top anime we get every season. And then we have this nice, wholesome, yet funny cooking anime here. I love it, dude. Alright, episode five. Looks like we got a couple people chowing down in a nearby tavern or inn. 
I don't know. You bump into the right people. We might be able to whip you up a meal. Oh, that was a whole dog. I thought that was somebody with like a hood on that had like ears. Missing persons? I don't know, they're kind of playing it up for him to be, or at least have some sort of involvement in defeating him. Oh no, we got some competition. Also, why does she, why does she sound so familiar? Look at that, that's a whole dog right there in a suit of armor, man. This is crazy. What a world they live in. There it is. Better ration it well. Mmm, I wonder how. Oh no. Spooky story time. Yeah, that didn't get anybody. She's probably weirded out by you more than anything else. Dude, who does she sound like? Oh my god. Let me know who you guys think in the comments section. Because I swear she sounds like someone that I've like... From someone from an anime I've watched recently. Or she's gotta be a big name. Or it could be like a baby mimic or something. Oh, dang! And that was just sitting around? Maybe it's their lucky day. Or there's something else going on here. See, you gotta do that check that they used to do in the cartoons where you like bite the coin and see if it bends. Because I think if it's like real gold, it like, I think if it's real gold, it doesn't bend. And if it's fake gold, then it bends or something like that. Oh no. They're still fresh, too. This must have just happened. Maybe it was some sort of, like, curse on the gold. Be careful, Chill Chuck! What? Oh, the sword! I forgot! <laughs> The little, like, mollusk thing. Oh! Holy, that's crazy! They look like real coins! Now they look like the little, the ball things from Harry Potter. What were they called? I think the game was called Fibbage or something. Yeah, that's nasty. What? Hello? Did she just vaporize that thing? Stunning magic. And a flashbang. Mm-hmm. Oh no, don't tell me we're gonna cook it. Dang, that's so cool though. Normally I'm not a big fan of insects, but this is kinda awesome. Insects that are disguised as jewelry? That looks so cool. It kinda reminds me of how like a lot of, you know, ancient Egyptian jewelry and stuff had um, a lot of like insect imagery, like scarabs and stuff. Maybe they taste like chocolate. <laughs> like the actual chocolate coins. 
Of course he's trying to cook them. Let's see what we make here. That's a lot of legs. That is a lot of legs to remove. Mm hmm I can't wait to see what the final product looks like. Yeah, so you don't see the underside. Ew. Ew! That's the nest? Okay, what the heck? That actually looks so good. Okay. Oh wow, that's that's a funny coincidence. So if you keep them in this dirty, dingy dungeon, they actually end up tasting better. It's good. Ooh, yeah, the texture is probably weird. Hey, maybe the sword's gonna want to bite too. Dang! Okay, giving us that 4K quality image right there? Maybe those uh, insects are like... Or the mollusks are like their natural predator or something. Oh? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I feel the same way as Marcel. Just toss him over that edge. Hey, is he actually about to do it? Wait, those are real gems? I thought they just meant the inedible bugs. Yeah, I was about to say. They just threw away who knows how much money. Kensuke. Oh. They're being stalked. Oh my god. Don't go back for it, bro. What are you doing? Look at that. Honestly, he deserves this. Oh, what? That's gotta be like a wraith. Like a, a frost wraith or something. Flashback time. Oh no. So he's possessed. He's one of the missing people. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't think there's really much you can do at this point. Well, I guess you could, you know, return the body. To his family. Instead of letting it rot down here. Oh man, the holy hug! And it worked! The holy hug! I thought maybe he would have, you know, squeezed too tightly and like, you know, injured her or something. But she was playing it off. He's gonna cook him a meal. <laughs> that always fixes the situation. He's gonna make a charm, though. More time. There we go, Flynn and Steel. Okay. Dude, I always- that's one of the things I want to learn one day, is how to make a fire from- not from scratch, but you know, by- with your own hands. Ew. Okay. Salt, yep. I know that's huge in Japanese culture. Purifying with salt. 
の力を加えれば聖水の価値を加えれば聖水の価値を加えれば聖水の価値を加えれば聖水の価値を加えれば聖水の価値を加えれば聖水の価値を加えれば Let's see. You can't go down like this. Not today. I don't think she's actually dead. Her and, dra her and the dragon are probably best friends now. But there's no way we're gonna go all the way down there just to find out that she died. What the? Oh, was that a ghost? Oh my god! <laughs> I was like, when the heck did that happen? <laughs> Dang! He's smacking him up! <laughs> Looks like he's playing freaking Castlevania. There we go. Alright, Laios. That's a good point. We probably would have ran out if we went with my idea. No way, is it like a slushy now? No way. Oh my god, no way. How did they make so many dishes out of these insects? This is so dumb. This makes no sense! How did they make ice cream out of it? <laughs> it looks more like, uh, shaved ice. Oh my god. Turn the ghost into a delicious treat. Ew. And now Marcel's liking it. What does he mean by that? Oh no, he screwed up. I think he's just trying to look at the silver lining. But he went a bit too far. Now everybody's disappointed in him. Yeah, then he wouldn't be looking so stupid. Yeah, exactly! He was trying to look at the silver lining. But it came off as him saying, like, things are better off without her. Oh my god. That was so good. I love that little twist there at the end. That was funny. Alright, so that was the end of the episode, and my question of the day for you guys is going to be out of all of the dishes that we've had in this episode, from the meal that we had with the orcs all the way to this ice cream that we had here, which dish would you, if you were forced to sit down and eat one, which dish would you prefer? Let me know your answer in the comment section down below, and with that I'm going to head out. Thank you all so much for watching this far into the video, and I will catch you all in the next one have a good one